Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install and update your iPad to iPad OS 17. Let's get started. All right, now before we begin, there are a few things we need to prepare to make sure this update runs smoothly. So first, you wanna have a supported iPad. You can check the link in the description to all supported iPads. You wanna make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and you wanna make sure that your iPad is plugged up to the charger and make sure you have at least 50% battery or more. Next, open up your settings and check the general tab and then tap on iPad storage. And you wanna make sure you have enough space for this update. And you can see on screen how large the update is. So you wanna have a little bit more than that if possible. If not, you'll have to delete things from your device. Lastly, it's very strongly recommended that you back up your iPad. It's your choice, but if something goes wrong, you could lose everything on the device. So I would suggest backing it up either on your profile there with iCloud or iTunes or a computer. It's always better to be safe than sorry. These updates are pretty safe, but anything can happen. Once you have everything prepared and set up, you're gonna open up your settings and we can start the process of installing iPad OS 17 on our iPad. Now I've got the iPad mini, the latest version, but the pros, the regular iPads all work as long as they're not too old. We're gonna tap general once again, we're gonna tap software update and it's gonna look. Now it may pop up like this at the bottom where it says upgrade to iPad OS, or it might pop up like this right here. And you can see again, 3.05 gigabytes for this particular version of iPad OS 17. You can read through this right here. When you're ready, tap download and install. It's gonna prompt you to enter in your passcode, enter that in. When the terms and conditions pop up, you can read through those and tap agree. Tap agree again on the notification. And you'll see right here that the update has been requested. Now this can take anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes. It all depends on your internet speed, how many people are updating at the same time. So I'll fast forward all this so you don't have to watch it, but this is a great time to hit that like button on the video and subscribe if you're into iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorial videos. All right, so the download is complete. You can see it's downloaded up here. Then you would tap install now, but if you see it in gray, like mine right here, most of the time it's because you're not up to 50% battery. So now we're at 53%, you can see it's in blue. We'll tap install now. It'll ask you again to enter in the password of the iPad. All right, so it's gonna verify and then it's gonna begin installing. And during that process, you don't wanna unplug the charger from the iPad, don't turn it off, just to leave it alone and let it do its thing. It's going to turn on and off by itself during that period. Period. And if you do run into any issues, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. All right, so the update is complete. We're gonna follow the instructions here. So we'll swipe up. It's gonna bring up our passcode. Enter that in again. And you can see the software update is complete. Your iPad has been updated to iPad OS 17.0. So let's tap continue. We'll go through a little bit of the steps here so that we can get back into our iPad. If you have anything pop up like this, you can set it up now. I'll choose set up later some Siri information. I don't know why it skipped that page, but from here we can tap to share our information with Apple or our analytics. I don't share this with them. And then we've got to get started here and we're good to go. So we'll just check the software here. So open up settings, general software update, and you can see iPadOS 17.0 is there and we're good to go. Now, if you ran into any issues, like I said, let me know in the comments. Sometimes the beta needs to be removed. I have a video that teaches you how to remove beta profiles from the iPad or iPhone if there's an issue. Also, if this video did help you, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box. I'll be posting a lot more iOS 17 videos with all the new features and abilities as well as the new iPhone 15s and Apple Watch. So if you like that kind of stuff and you wanna learn how to use them to the best of their capabilities, definitely check out my channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.